And once again, more people in Britain being arrested for cheeky things that they said online. Although, you know, maybe this wasn't so much as cheeky and it was, it was racist. It was racist. However, just because it was racist doesn't mean it should be a crime. Uh, English football fan jailed after live streaming himself, fucking genius, racially abusing Sancho, Saka and Rashford. English football supporter Jonathan Best has been jailed for 10 weeks after live streaming racial abuse towards Marcus Rashford, Jadon Sancho and Bukayo Saka on his personal Facebook page following England's Euro 2028 final loss. I don't follow football at all, so I have no idea who these people are. Uh, England's Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, heard that Best52 streamed an 18-second clip to the social media platform in which he unleashed a litany of racial abuse towards the trio of black players who missed penalties in the shootout against eventual winners uh, Italy at Wembley Stadium in July, and was on Tuesday sentenced to the prison term. Best, who works as a forklift driver, had previously pleaded guilty to sending by public communication network a grossly offensive section 127. That's the text for section 127. It's the exact same law that I was charged under. And had initially refused to take the offending clip down from his social media page after being reported to both Facebook and local police by a work colleague. Remember, snitch on your neighbours. Uh, Facebook eventually intervened and removed the clip three days after it was posted. Uh, while the majority of the nation took great pride in the three Lions reaching their first international final in more than 50 years, Jonathan Best took to Facebook to live stream a barrage of racist abuse at the three players who missed penalties during the game, said Elaine Cousins of the CPS of the case. <laughs> Pardon. Uh, I really don't care about football. That's <laughs> like I don't, I don't watch I don't watch football. I watch it with my dad sometimes because he really likes football, but me I, I personally don't care. People ask me all the time, oh Celtic or Rangers, Celtic or Rangers. I, I come from a Celtic family, right? But as for football, I don't care. I don't watch it. I like UFC. I watch UFC. Uh, he used social media to publicly vilify these three young men who tried to score for England when approached by a Facebook friend asking him to remove the grossly offensive content. She's the prosecutor, so she needs to make sure to get those words in there. Grossly offensive, by the way, is a completely subjective metric. However, even though it's subjective and not any based on any logical fact, you know, you can still be convicted for it. Best replied, it's my profile. I can do what I want. <laughs> It's my profile. I can do what I want. Love, love me racism. Love me England. Eight penalties. <laughs> and to be honest, he's right. He's right. He has a right. He has a right to say it. Now, I don't know what he said, but I can promise you it wasn't nice. <laughs> I can definitely promise you that it wasn't nice. The man does have a point. He does have a right to say it, but I can promise you that it was not nice. There is absolutely no room in the game, nor elsewhere, for racism. The CPS is committed to bringing perpetrators of hate crime to justice where there is ev the evidence to do so. If these hate crimes are just people saying things, then the CPS is basically saying we are very, very happy to violate the human rights of others who are not violating other people's rights, which basically means the state is drastically overstepping its mark and committing crimes against its people. But of course, you knew that. Uh, I would like to thank the individual who reported this appalling hate crime. Excellent citizen, you have gained 50 social credit points. Uh, and I hope this prosecution goes some way in educating and deterring people from posting hate on social media. I hope people do not say things, say things, words. I hope you don't make some pixels on the screen arranged in a certain way that the government does not like. News of the prosecution and subsequent sentencing comes as social media companies attempt to grapple with an alarming rise in racist messaging being sent to public figures and especially high-profile black footballers in the United Kingdom. Manchester United's Rashford, who was one of the players targeted by Best, has detailed on numerous occasions the offensive messages that he receives on an almost daily basis, while Arsenal Saka said that his first thought after missing the penalty against England was related to the immediate abuse he expected to receive on social media. 
The CPS also affirmed that it was working with representatives of both the police and football bodies in a bid to solidify the requirements for criminal prosecutions of people who sent racist messages online. Hate crimes such as these have a massive impact on players and their mental health, said Elizabeth Jenkins of the CPS. This is a crime prosecution service. She is in no way giving an unbiased opinion. It is in her direct interest to big up how much of a crime this is. Uh, the CPS takes this kind of off offending, offending, uh, very seriously. And this case shows that where offensive content is reported to the police, we can successfully bring offenders to justice. In other words, we can violate human rights. And the CPS loves doing that. Uh, it may only be ten weeks. Pr it may only be ten weeks prison time. Imagine, imagine thinking that just because you made people feel a little bit shitty for about ten minutes, you should get ten weeks in prison. Who thinks like that? I can't imagine the mind of a person who thinks like that, given such an extreme punishment for something so minor. But for probably the next three to six years, that criminal record will pop up for checks relating to future employment and visas. Actions have consequences. Yeah, I don't want you to be able to feed your family for the next three to six years because you made me feel bad for like five minutes. That's <laughs> like, who are these people? These people are psychos. See that? See that? You shouldn't be able to feed yourself or your family for six years because you offended me. Sociopaths. Absolute sociopathic maniacs that belong in a fucking asylum. These people are dangerous. People that think like that are fucking dangerous to society. Never mind people who like making racist comments. Like, I don't like racist comments, right? I would rather not hear racist comments. Like people saying like the unironic racist shit. I would rather not hear that. But the one thing that I'm more fucking worried about is people that think you shouldn't be able to feed yourself for the next six years because you made them offended for like five minutes. Those people are dangerous and they're the ones that need locked up. Don't call, talk, call, don't call him a football fan. Call him what he is. A racist. What's the difference? Uh, 70 days is plenty of time to read lots of books about black history and heritage added a third. Fuck off. Right, now one thing that I will say is I have worked with a lot of people in the past who I give this speech an awful lot, but I like to reiterate it because it is a very important point. I know you've all heard it, but for those of you that haven't, I've worked with a lot of people who have been arrested over things that they have said, and this can range from things that are just basic bitch, edgy memes and edgy jokes that they made in a group chat in the university, which one little person in the group chat took offence to and informed on their neighbours and snitched on them and they got into trouble, or people just posting edgy shit online. However, there have been some people that I have spoken to who have been arrested for genuine racist shit, like genuinely saying racist stuff, you know, they were in a... They were in a corner shop and they were drunk and a few things were said and then they said a few things which were crimes and then the police came and hey ho there you go get the cuffs on and these people some of these people have been sentenced to prison over this now obviously prison is meant to reform you prison is meant to put you off from committing the same offense again it's supposed to change who you are and change your ideals and these people actually get a little bit of re-education when they're in prison as well social workers come in and basically go you're white and you're a piece of shit you're absolutely terrible being black is beautiful and blah 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 and all this shit right now those people they went to prison uh, for saying racist things when they came out of prison, go on, guess, do you think that they were less racist or more racist? More, in 100% of cases, more. It made them, whatever people that they were raging against, they hated them even more. They just got better at hiding it. Some of them uh, became, in my opinion, <coughs> sorry, still got a bit of a cold. Uh, in my opinion, uh, slightly radicalised, slightly radicalised by their experience in prison. Because um, if you insult people of a certain race and you get handed, in one instance, one guy get handed an eight-month prison term, uh, he came out of that prison term and he is now a member of National Action. And I asked him, is that something that you would ever have considered before going to prison? And he said, no. And the scary thing about that is the government knows this. The government knows for a fact that doing this shit actually radicalises people even further. So it shows that the government isn't actually doing it to fight racism or stop the far right. 
they know it encourages the far right and yet they keep doing it and you need to ask yourself why that is.